I just want to make sure I got that. Okay, so um, hearings from citizens, we do have guests here, but uh, my understanding is nobody wants to speak. Is that right? Okay. Um, we always welcome those comments. Chair updates. Uh, just have a few things to say. I try not to take too much away from Daryl's comments at the end of the meeting. Um, but I think ridership is up. Well, I know it's up, and it's historically up. It's great. Uh, 1.4 million on fixed route, 150,000 on access, and I'm going to say nearly 10,000 on Metro now. It's 9,200, but it feels like 10,000 is within reach. Uh, that is a great month of October. OTP improved over previous month in, in fixed and para. There's room for improvement. We can get there, but we are improving with that ridership up. And also some challenges in terms of Blink. So some of the data uh, can be a challenge when you take the buses off route. So you can actually get dinged on kind of missed trips and, and, and OTP with that. So, so we actually saw improvement with those challenges, which is great. Uh, missed trips, 833. Still need to make improvement there, but a third of what it was two years ago. And then the peak that we had when we had more missed trips, it, it's a quarter of that. Uh, so good job. There's one day in the middle of the month, was it the 18th, I didn't write it down, something like that, that, that hit us hard. So that also that tells me that on the daily basis, we're generally lower than that total sum. So good. Um, need to keep improving, but good. Blink, great success. We've all talked about that. Great for the city, great for the region. Um, good fun seeing all the leadership team out in operations, running buses in and out of uh, the Riverfront Transit Center was amazing. Um, I'm sure the chamber is very happy about it too. Um, so my stance is like, let's do this twice a year, but I know that. <laughs> All right, um, BRT, extensive feedback, tons of uh, work has been done on that. Uh, we have the suspended roof design. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I like it, I think it's beautiful. And now we're moving on to talk about some stop locations in the next month. Yeah. So that's where these designs are gonna go, making that determination. Everybody should go to that. I mean, these are, going to impact communities for decades. So they're incredibly important decisions and that's happening in December. Um, you see 5.1 million grants for advanced transit infrastructure management. Uh, that is spectacular. Um, so uh, that was a partnership with UC and Metro. I think Haled helped out a lot with the team working on that. Good stuff too. Um, so then I was talking about all this and I was like, well, let's talk for a second about the people, right? And like, who's making this happen? And it turns out multiple pages of names <laughs> were written down. I'm gonna blow through a few things. Um, so the Silver Wheel Award winners for this past month, I'm gonna read their names off because they contribute to this so much. I'm also gonna put a plug in that the golden bus awards are coming, is that March? So make sure you have it on your calendar. It is a spectacular event where all the, the Silver uh, Wheel Award winners come together and a few of them win the big award. It is a celebration of Metro like none other. Well, we have a few different celebrations through the year. They're all great, so come to them. But okay, Charlene Calhoun, Nate, Nate Kempfis, uh, um, Laquita Greer, Michael Martin, Randy Klein, Ronna Mers, and Doretha Marshall. So congratulations to them. Now, uh, the leadership has also received some awards, uh, as is common, uh, it seems, uh, but it's not you know, commonplace, right? We get a lot of awards, we note them, but it's because everybody is doing such a good job. Of, of note, Brandy Jones, Changemaker Award, Congratulations. And then um, Haled Shamut has a uh, paper on intermodal passenger facility planning with the Transit Research Board. That's amazing, because you know what? That's what we're 
doing, right? <laughs> so he is a, a international star and a, a, a national star on all of this work. He's publishing and being a leader. It is uh, great that we have him. So Khaled, good job. And, and here I'm transitioning a little bit into planning and ops, uh, but Mike Weil, Chief Safety Officer, he's updated our safety plan for the next year, made several important tweaks. You might hear more demand response language these days because of how uh, Metro Now is uh, a different type. It's not just straight paratransit for our system. Um, and then also uh, important updates around um, uh, uh, operator safety. Um, so please check it out. And I think this is five years running and an impressive body of work and um, dedication, not just once a year to a report, but daily uh, uh, impressive work for our safety program. So thank you. We, we will approve that momentarily. So turning the page. Uh, there was another award uh, recently <laughs> um, that I think we need to note. Uh, Daryl Haley uh, is a man of honor, as of or man of honor as of this past weekend, and uh, I was fortunate enough to attend. And one of the most impressive things about it was the banners of everybody else mm -hmm. who has uh, received that award, including Casey Smith, who's here on our board. Um, I, Kala. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have requirements for this board. I'm looking around. I'm sorry. Looking for anybody else. <laughs> yeah. Let me say first off, congratulations. Thank you, Kala. He is the one who really made the recommendation, and I don't know if he had received recognition of he, he last last year you last year he came to me uh after the program and asked if you had been uh, nominated for that inducted into the uh men of honor i said man an excellent idea and so i went to the former chair at the went to go in mm -hmm. and that's how it happened and so i just want to let you know this this was the guy I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Him and I will have a conversation <laughs> later. <laughs> I'm always about shining the spotlight on you, Daryl. <laughs> yeah. Easiest thing you've done all year. Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I may, I want to first of all thank those of you who had enough confidence in me to have me to introduce Daryl as a man of honor. And it was so much I could say. And if you don't know Claudia, she, she'll call you and say, you know, keep it right here. And uh, I am clumsy in a long dress, so I was really trying <laughs> to get up there. But I was really honored, and I want to thank uh, all of you who were there to support. Uh, Daryl deserved it. Uh, if you look at the wall, 95% of them, I, I've been blessed to work with 95% of the men that was on that wall. And every one of them deserved that award. It's, it's powerful uh, to be up on that wall. And you so deserve it. And his family reflects who he is. You are, your, your beautiful sisters and your sons, you know, I have fun with them. Uh, but I'm just, I was just so honored to be asked. And Blake was going to be my backup because <laughs> I have serious allergies. And I said, my boys close up. I got to go to Blake. But I got a call that said, when you got to do it. You just got to do it. So, mm -hmm. Blake, thanks for being there for me. But uh, I prayed over it, and I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do this because you're so deserving. Uh, I used the term that he was the protein that built the inside and the outside of, of this organization, and you have. You have really stood there in the gap and uh, have done the job. You deserved it, and thank you all for uh, your support of that. Pete, you was on point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I need to just add, our men clean up really good at night. Wow. <laughs> 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 Bow tie it all. <laughs> <laughs>
twins, I think you did a great job. Oh, you and you. Fantastic. And strength and grace Fantastic. and a little bit of humor. Uh, yeah. And I believe she was the only woman that I was the only woman. And, and, was, and that, I thought, reflected a lot on just, you know, just how you, how you lead and how you operate in terms of this organization and moving it forward because it was nice to see that. Thank you so much. The men run up the stairs. And then they, I have to pull up. I was hoping you didn't see too much. Anyway, I had to pull up the dress to get up those <laughs> stairs. <laughs> Could I? Please. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that came, and thank you for all the support that you all give me uh, every single solitary day. And um, it, it was nice to uh, receive an honor, but um, we are a team, um, and we've worked together to accomplish everything that we've been able to accomplish even through some of the roughest times mm -hmm. of my life. So I appreciate every one of you. Thank you very much. And Pete, we are gonna have a conversation. Pete, later. thank you. <laughs> no, and if you could get the video, yeah. I would ask us to show that video because that's his humbleness, that's his truthfulness. And it was so powerful. Uh, you know, I'm on stage and said, trying to hold back. <laughs> so it was really nice, so thank you. Thank you. Let's take a moment. I'm going to okay. stand and applaud you and all our men of honor at the table. Stand on the shoulders of giants. Okay. I appreciate you guys. And, and sort of awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that is the end of my updates for this month. Uh, I hope you have had a chance to review the minutes. Are there any amendments, changes, concerns? If, if not, okay, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Pete. Oh, it has been moved and seconded. Thank you very much. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say left. And the minutes are approved for last month. Um, now we move into finance committee, Ms. Clark. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we had a, a wonderful finance committee meeting. Uh, there was there was also a word cloud that existed <laughs> uh, during that meeting. Uh, as we move into 2025, uh, we are very well positioned. Uh, definitely in appreciation of the work that um, Tim and his team have done, and being um, conservative, if you will, and mindful of our you know what we have in our coffers and what what yet we have to do and being very fiduciary responsible on that. Um, as we move into 2025, our operating expenses are going to be slightly uh, slightly above uh, where they were last year. In terms of, um, you know, one thing to note is that we are going to, our five-year plan is going to be calling for a very slight uh, minimal fare, incre fare increase of just 10%. And so I really also uh, appreciated how well that is being handled. Um, the consciousness about the minimal cost of that increase, um, how we're looking at making sure things are sustainable, and how we're communicating that uh, with our with our riders and with um, with the people that use Metro. Um, we have of course, of course taking into account uh, UC's economic centers uh, numbers. Uh, they've, as we all know, they've changed. Uh, they fluctuate a little bit <laughs> away from what we anticipated, and so those are uh, being taken into consideration on this next budget. And from there, I will, um, I will, I will ask that Mr. Tim Walker give any more um, ads on that so that we can approve that budget. Thank you, Ms. Clark. You're welcome. Uh, first thing I'd like to do is really thank Kevin Ruth for his leadership during this process uh, during this year. But thanks, thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. Um, the one thing that we did, uh, when you look here, we had three priorities going into this budget season. One is to make sure we enhance the transit network, make certain also we have long-term financial sustainability, and then to revitalize and keep our infrastructure up and running and modernized. So those were the three pillars or priorities we had going in here. And we'll just go through a couple pages here. You all have the details, so if there's any questions, you can reach out to me. Uh, Natalie, go to the next page. Um, here are some headline figures on our budget that Ms. Clark mentioned. One thing to keep in mind, while the operating expenses are greater than you, you, we've seen in our forecast and also with our budget, um, just to put in comparison, last year when the board was approving the budget, that 3.9% figure that you see there was 4.8%. 
and the 6.7% uh, number was actually 9.4%. So you can see while we are having an increase uh, between 24 and 25, it is less than was, it was expected when the budget was approved for 2024. And Tim, if I could, this also includes two more Metro now zones, as well as phase four of reinventing Metro. Thank you, Darrell. And then we'll go to, um, Blake and I like this, it's our wall of numbers. <laughs> uh, these are just the, the high level of our 2025 operating budget. You can kind of see the, the ridership, um, operating revenues, a slight increase there, non-op revenues. Um, the biggest number you'll see is the county sales tax. And again, that is spot on with the uh, UC study that we have. And um, going down to expenses, we are holding those a, as light as we can, uh, including in there is, is the, C, the new CBA agreement, along with other expenses. And in the bottom, we, you see a, a number of 6.4 million. We don't really wanna call that a surplus. We are now calling that an operating capital contribution. Mm -hmm. And just to um, keep the board grounded here, you know, each and every year we need to have between six and $10 million of a surplus or an operating capital contribution to fund Metro's portion of, of our capital expenses. So generally those are shared. We receive grant money for a lot of the dollars, but we, you know, we participate in between 30 and 20% of the spend. So that figure is what is necessary ongoing with us. And then uh, flipping now to the capital, yeah. One quick question. Yes, go Increase. Well, the increase would be we have our, our standard merit increase. Okay. We also have the new, C, the, the new CBA. CBA. Okay. And the one thing, um, Mr. Gibson, that we're doing um, for the first time in a long time, the administrative headcount is going to remain flat okay. for 2025. Um, and, and again, another part of the increase in employee wages and benefits is we are rolling out two more Metro now zones mm -hmm. and we're rolling out phase four. So that's more miles and hours on the road, which then flows right into employee wages and benefits. And that is the new service that we're rolling out are, is included in that. That's very nice, thank you. Right, thank you. And we'll, we'll quickly hit on the, the capital budget. Keep going there, keep going. Next, there you go. And just a high level here, um, we're looking at 2025 of having a capital budget of about $51 million. And of that $51 million, 37 is a, a carryover from, from items that we're still working on or in progress. And the remaining nearly 14 million is something that is, is new for 2025. And you can see we, we have 57 <coughs> total projects, um, but we feel pretty comfortable here with the 51 million in capital, the call at 167 in, in operating expenses, so we're asking today for the approval of, call it a $220 million budget, capital and operating for the year. Can I ask a question? Yes. And this came up in the committee, but it wasn't, uh, we didn't drill down to it, drill down to it. This budget, does it take into account this uh, incoming administration that has uh, proposed a deep cut to the public it, uh, transportation. Um, you know, how are we preparing or, or insulating ourselves with this? But I, I, I'm sorry, you know, to bring nope. this up at this point, but I was trying to compare it. I had looked at how I compared to last year to this <coughs> year, I mean, for what is being proposed. And it is as if everything is normal i mean it's going to be normal if that makes sense i'm trying to be gentle on this one um you know that we, we're just moving right along are we taking anything in account that yeah i mean i think andy do you want to take this or do you want me to it, sh sure um most of what you see in our budget is local <laughs> dollars right when you think about our operating budget um the primary driver of our operating budget is local hamilton county sales tax then we have passenger fares. There's a small amount of federal revenue in our operating budget. What you see in our operating budget is actually 2024 funds that we pull down during 2025. So we're working on that grant agreement right now that will be executed prior to any change in administration. Um, also in the capital budget, some of these projects assume federal funding, some of which we've been awarded, some are in process, some we anticipate award. 
So anytime an award amount changes or the federal government comes and says, hey, we awarded money for this project a year ago, but it hasn't been obligated yet, they have the ability to sweep that back. If they do, we're going to have to adjust our capital plan. Um, but most of this is looking back, um, and very little of it is looking forward in terms of future federal funds. Okay. But, but speaking of looking forward, we're already, um, we've already reached out to the new administration coming in, and we're, um, we're trying to set up meetings for February to go and tell our story to the new administration. Uh, we have a really good story to tell um, and how transit impacts communities, um, and we're hopeful that you know, even with the new administration coming in, we've got a really good story to tell, and we're gonna go to DC, and we're gonna tell that story, and hopefully in February, we'll be making that trip. Well, I, I, thank you. Uh, we did a, a great job insulating ourselves from the stimulus, unstimulus impact, yes. you know. So I would hope that we look at this, because I don't know what the county is doing with their budget, I don't know what the city is doing with their budget, and how they are taking us into account. Yes. Um, so, but we have to be clear up front, and it's not a Pollyanna, hey, here we go down the road again, you know, that we are paying attention to that. Uh, we didn't spend any of our stimulus money on non-sustainable Right, and, and, that, and I thought we did an excellent job. I think that's why CPS is dealing with some issues now. So I, I applaud you for that. So we still need to pay attention. And Sonia, you know, I'm gonna be, looking at you to say it's the city, looking at transportation in their budget or how they're looking at it, so, and, and so on. So mm -hmm. that's my comment. No, that's a great point. Um, 2026 challenge, <laughs> right, as we think about what right. that looks like for 2025. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and yeah, good, that is something we need to consider because even the bridge project now, yes. there's some questions about you know, how that's gonna move forward. So. And, I will tell you, um, we are not anticipating any challenges in 2026. Mm -hmm. um, this leadership team, um, we look, we have a very far look ahead, five years, 10 years, and we're making adjustments as things happen. Um, I know there is a fiscal cliff coming in 2026. We do not anticipate facing that fiscal cliff at all. I mean, that, that's, that's the big one, you know, that's the issue. And plus we have, uh, you know, our labor contract that we have to take into account. So I've just been thinking about it, but I'm sure you have, and I'm, I'm okay. But I just ask this board to be prudent and, and be diligent and, and paying attention to yes. uh, when we're asked, you know, to expose ourselves and take on projects or whatever, we need to be mm -hmm. mindful that everything, we can't do all things. Absolutely right. Yes. And I, I think that's an important charge. I thank you so much for bringing it up. Uh, we have to pay attention to all the different sources of funding, um, whether it's operating or capital, long term, uh, and and realize as we complete reinventing Metro, and we will, um, we will, we have to be able to cover the operating costs to maintain yeah. it. Twenty uh, more years, and that requires ridership increases. That does likely require the fair increases and also managing all these other inputs if you will um so we have to be diligent about it every month and also looking long term and you know we've got some pretty amazing partners um fta odot people like that that really support us we actually have a meeting today mm -hmm. in columbus with uh, the fta mm -hmm. so as soon as the board meeting's over andy and i'll be heading to columbus we'll have a meeting with the fta um, and I will tell you, they're also very excited about what's going on here in Cincinnati as we lead the nation in ridership recovery um, and, and the success we've had in growing our system in a time where the rest of the country is trying to figure out how much they're going to shrink. Um, we'll continue to tell our story. And we believe uh, we've got long-term sustainability. We're not really concerned at this point in time. We have to be cautious, though. Thank you, everyone. Can I ask a question? Um, as I was looking at this budget, I realized that the money we set aside for infrastructure, we don't actually budget that. We approve the debt flow of those dollars when we approve the projects. Is that accurate? Or we don't? Okay. That's correct. Thanks. All right. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, everyone. All right. We Sorry. Thank you. Um, with that, I would. Um, 
propose a, an approval of the 2025 budget? Uh, second. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't, don't want the budget? <laughs> All right, we're going to do a roll call vote on that. Thanks. Ms. Clark? Yes. Mr. Driehaus? Yes. Mr. Etheridge? Yes. Mr. Gibson? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Metz? Yes. Ms. Moss? Yes. Ms. Robinson? Yes. Ms. Sheets? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. And Ms. Taylor? Yes. All right, we are approved. Thank you. Next item uh, on the agenda is the, the red bike. We had a spirited discussion in the committee meeting, and uh, I really appreciate that, um, all the different opinions. Uh, we are going to table this motion until next month as we work on kind of the details and process related to it. Staff has been hard at work for the past week, and we just need a little bit more time to think through uh, how, how we want to proceed on this. Do we need to vote on tabling, or can we just? Okay, so I'm going to move that we table that. Pete, would you second? Yeah. That? yeah. How, how does that work? From a, is it just hold on, hold over on the agenda to next month? Is that how that works? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Second. Okay. Miss Clark. Can we come back to the full board. Yeah. Miss Clark. Your name is Clark. Mr. Driehaus? Yes. Mr. Etheridge? Yes. Mr. Gibson? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Metz? Yes. Ms. Moss? Yes. Ms. Robinson? Yes. Ms. Sheets? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. And Ms. Taylor? Yes. Sorry, we have a stand-in session, correct? Yep. You're doing great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we are going to move into our proposed resolution. Um, We've got Mr. Uh, or I'm sorry, Julie Beard. Um, she's going to discuss our property and general liability insurance coverages for res. Uh, no, I believe this is a consent agenda item. It's already been. Or do we need to review it again? Okay. Okay. All right. Then we can just move for approval. Two with two items. So two There's items, two on items the we'll put together yep. for approval. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Item four and five are on consent. All right. Yeah. Can I get a can yeah, I get a motion? There's a meeting schedule. And just, uh, sometimes uh, the consent agenda we've, we've never handled it exactly consistently. So, but uh, so we can move that. Anybody on the board can take anything off the consent agenda if they'd like to discuss. But if not, we just move and go forward. All right. Okay. Any discussion? So or I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda as written in our minutes. All right. Second. We are approved on our finance consent agenda. And that, we have to do the roll oh, I'm call. sorry. Ms. Clark? Yes. Mr. Driehaus? Yes. Mr. Etheridge? Yes. Mr. Gibson? Yes. Okay. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Ms. Metz? Yes. Ms. Moss? Yes. Ms. Robinson? Yes. Ms. Sheets? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. And Ms. Taylor? Yes. All right. Thank you. And with that, that concludes our finance committee items. Thank you very much, Ms. Clark. Good job. Um, planning and ops comes next. Uh, Mr. G House, if you don't mind, I'll just uh, take us through this real quick. I would like <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Estridge for <laughs> Etheridge for chairing the committee, and I would be happy to turn it over to you to, for, to present for the uh, full. I'm glad you're feeling better, and it's good to have you back. Uh, so um, we have a couple items. Uh, the approval of the agency safety plan. Uh, and uh, I really want to thank, again, the, the team that worked on this and is keeping it up to date. But I won't go through my comments again, because apparently you guys have to be in Columbus. So Mike, wow, thank you very Thank you again. Uh, I would move the, the approval of the agency safety plan. So moved. Second. I think the board's, oh, OK. All right, I properly moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, uh, we move into a roll call vote. Ms. Clark? Yes. Mr. Driehaus? Yes. Mr. Etheridge? Yes. Mr. Gibson? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Metz? Yes. Ms. Moss? Yes. Ms. Robinson? Yes. Ms. Sheets? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. And Ms. Taylor? 
And one more item uh, is our approval of our contract award for our Microsoft 365 licenses. Mm. Uh, this is pretty routine. Um, any questions or concerns? If not, uh, I move the approval of contract award 153-22024. Sorry. Second. All right. Probably moved and seconded. Neil, was that, did you want to discuss this? I was going to second, <coughs> but so someone beat me to it. Okay. Well, an honorary second from Neil. <laughs> uh, <Honorary. laughs> uh, roll call. Ms. Hunt? Yes. Mr. Driehaus? Yes. Mr. Etheridge? Yes. Mr. Gibson? Yes. Mr. Kelly? Yes. Mr. Metz? Yes. Ms. Moss? Yes. Ms. Robinson? Yes. Yes. Ms. Taylor? Yes. Thank you very much. That covers planning and ops. Uh, now we have our monthly financial uh, results for October 31, uh, and then we'll have Metro on the move. And if you have new business, it'll come right after that. So, Mr. Thank Walter. you, Mr. Rutheridge. Um, Nelly, if you go to the next page, please. Go to my numbers. And um, <laughs> I usually get a chance to steal the thunder, but Mr. Rutheridge did it earlier. The, the first item you'll see is our ridership of 1.4 million. Uh, the one thing to note, if you look to the right year to date, we're at negative 2.9%. And just to frame that with everyone, that was negative 5% in July. So we're trending in the right direction. And I also believe, and maybe uh, Daryl can help me out, but I believe the 1.4 million riders that we see here is the greatest we've seen since 2017. You're correct. So a huge number there. And a big shout out to everyone who, who's working on that. Um, next item, looking at, yeah, yes, sir. On the ridership. And the reason that we're 2.9, the reason we're 2.9% below what we budgeted is because we delayed the rollout of phase three of reinventing Metro. Since we've rolled out phase three of reinventing Metro, we've been pretty much right on a little bit over on our ridership budget. Thank you, Daryl. Looking uh, next at our operating revenue, really um, nothing to talk here. The month to date and year to date are favorable. On the non-op side, as, as we all know, this is a, a mixed bag. And also, you know, the, the sales tax came in $1.1 million under budget. It was also negative to the prior year. Um, but throwing that in with some good news, we did offset a good piece of that uh, negative variance with some ODOT maintenance um, reimbursement dollars that came in. So you can see our total revenue while we're under budget, um, both um, for the month and, and year to date, it's still, you know, we are still able to offset the 3.9 million of negative variance with the sales tax. Going down to the expenses, uh, good news here, we are um, uh, favorable to our budget, both month to date and year to date here with those. And let's focus here on the year to date bottom line number of our operating capital contribution. Even with the, the headwinds we've had with the sales tax item, you can see we're, we're still operating at a surplus or an operating, operating capital contribution, as we're calling it, uh, compared to a planned deficit of $400,000. So we're positive by $2 million for the year um, with our, with our P&L, which is, uh, it's really nice to see that with the headwind we've had with the sales tax. And any questions from anyone? All right, thank you. No more discussion on the financial results, uh, but uh, we will keep an eye on it next month and the month after and the month after. Um, so keep your budget packets too, um, so we can keep an eye on that as we move forward. Metro on the move. So, you know, we were talking earlier today about our partners at FTA and Ohio Department of Transportation. I am pleased to announce that we're the recipient of a $4 million grant from the Ohio Department of Transportation. That grant will go towards diesel buses, Metro Nail buses, and our one-seat ride, our paratransit uh, program that we'll be running out real soon. Also, our BRT public meetings uh, continue. Our outreach has been very robust. We've had more than 23 large group events. We have engagements with more than 2,500 individuals, 500 business owners, 400 team members and over 2200 survey results we have three more meetings coming up one on december the second uh, at the bond hill community center one on december the third at downtown library and one on december the fourth 
at College Hill, and I guess I should put the times out here. December 2nd is 4.30 to 7.30 at Bond Hill. December 3rd is 11 a.m. to 1, and then again at 4, from 4 to 7 at the Downtown Library. And December 4th is at 4.30 to 7.30 at the College Hill Rec Center. Um, again, it's the holiday time, so we will again be doing Stuff the Bus, uh, partnering with Radio One, uh, non-perishable food items for those in need this season. Um, the station's a uh, free store food bank uh, from uh, noon till three on November the 30th at Oakley uh, at Kroger's on December 7th, Norwood Kroger's, and December 14th, Dent Kroger's. Um, and last but not least, again, I would like to say how much I really appreciate all of you and wish you and your families a very happy Thanksgiving. We wish you the same. We wish you the same. Thank you. Is there any new business? All right. Hearing none, um, please uh, have a, a happy Thanksgiving and be safe out there the next few days uh, with the ice coming. Uh, so safety is, is number one. All right. Meeting adjourned. All right. Thank you.